Hello, FBLA members. My name is Will, and I'm currently in the Collegiate Division of Phi Beta Lambda, serving as your 2020 through 2021 State Secretary for Colorado. My name is Cole. I am currently serving as your um, Colorado State PBL President, and today we would like to present you with some tips and tricks that we have learned through our high school and college careers on virtual competition and public speaking. So tip number one is uh, practice ahead by recording yourself on the device that you plan on using. What this does is this allows you to watch the recording and shows any flaws you might have in your presentation, such as a slide that shows incorrectly or an area where you may stutter that you should probably reword or work on. And it also has the added benefit of making sure that your device can use the software that you'll be using, that your microphone and your webcam are working. Yeah, the second trick that we have for you with regards to virtual competitions is to make sure that you are framed correctly. So this can include everything from what you have in the background to how much of your face and how much of your upper body is shown. So all of that is really important. You wanna make sure that whatever you keep in the frame, you do wanna keep in there. And then it's not too busy of a background also. So um, to go along with that is attire. So even though you'll be presenting probably from your home, you are definitely still expected to dress professionally. So um, a minimum for guys could be what uh, Cole has on right now, which is a white shirt and a tie. Um, for guys, you could definitely dress it up with a little bit of a vest or um, even a suit or a blazer if you do have one at home. Um, and then, of course, for ladies, you can also put a suit on top and, then of course, just make sure that you're wearing a nice professional dress or slacks. The third tip we have for you is to test your microphone and or your headset that you will be using um, before the day comes to use it. That way, if your microphone is faulty or your headset's not working, you have time to replace it or fix the, fix the issue before you are supposed to be competing. Yeah, um, even in college, we're experiencing that. For example, one of my professors does not know very well how to use his microphone. So every time he talks, it sounds like this. And you definitely don't wanna to present to a judge who is hearing muffled um, sounds coming here. Okay, trick number four we have for you is to look directly at the camera. Sometimes I even have issues with this, but it's tempting because you have your slides on your um, on your actual screen or you're seeing faces below, but then um, it's also really easy to just have your eyes move left and right. And then it's also very distracting during your presentation. So make sure you're looking directly at the camera. Tip number five is to avoid giving your presentation in an area where there's background noises. Um, this will help your presentation seem more professional as well as keep from adding distractions for the judges and lessening the quality of your content. Perfect. And now we're going to talk a little bit about um, your team consistency. So what we mean by this is, for example, Cole has a white background. I have a white background. Um, and then we're both wearing a white right now. We coordinated that. Um, but all of those little details like that is still really, really important over um, even when it's virtual. So you want to make sure that you, if you guys want to um, color code your professional wear, your professional attire, that'd be good. Um, if you guys could also uh, maybe have like the same type of frame um, and have the same type of background, that would also be ideal. And tip number seven, which is our final tip for you, is remember you're talking to a real person on the other side of the screen. Um, it's easy to forget sometimes when you're just talking, when it seems like you're just talking to your computer, that that's all it is. But there is another person over there. So just remember to be courteous, start off your presentations with saying hello and introducing yourself and make sure to end them by thanking the judge or the audience for their time 
and their willingness to listen to your presentation. 100% agree, Cole. Um, so thank you for coming to our quick little video. Hopefully it was a little bit helpful. Um, definitely wish you the best of luck this year at uh, FBLA State Conference. Um, we know it's virtual and we get that it's hard. So um, definitely push through and hopefully we'll get to a chance to connect with you after the pandemic is over. So thank you so much. Thank you.